Hello, preschool friends. It's Miss Shelley. Today, we are going to work on counting collections one to 10. You need your counting collection sheet, and then you need erasers or whatever you're going to do your counting collection with. And of course, your dry erase marker. Okay, today I have some little erasers that I'm using. I'm gonna show you. Hopefully you can see them. And they are owls, foxes, and moose. That's what I am doing with my counting collections. That's what I'm using, I'm sorry, I should say, for my counting collections today. So like I said, you can use anything. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put one in each box so that I know exactly how many I have and then I'll count them after I put them in the box. Okay, here we go. One in each box because you can't put more than one. and then I'm going to touch count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have 10 pieces in my counting collection. So the last one that I touched in my last row, I'm going to circle it, the number, so that I remember, see, that's my number 10. And then I'm going to write it right here. I'm going to write 10. And I know 10 is a number pair, so it needs two numbers to make a new number. One comes first, and then the zero. 10, I counted 10. Now, down here, I will record my counting collection after I've sorted them by their similarities. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put my foxes together and I'm putting them in my box and then I'm gonna put the moose together because they are the same. And then under that, I'll put my owls because those are the same. So now that I have everything sorted, I need to draw them. And if you don't think that you can draw them, you can just take your marker, your dry erase marker, and you can put a circle around them. And that's what Miss Shelley's gonna do because I don't think I'm a very good drawer. So I'm just gonna put a circle around it. So here is my first one. This is my first fox. So I have, looking at this, I have two foxes and I have one, two, three, four moose and I have one, two, three, four owls. But you know what? Maybe I should count them again to make sure I have 10. Let's do that and then we'll circle around them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, I have all 10 there. So I put my first circle around my fox and then I'm gonna take it off because I've already put a circle around him, putting one around my second fox and then I'm gonna remove him. Now I'm going around my moose and then I remove him. I go around my other moose and remove him that I've removed them so that I know I've done them. Or you can leave them, that's fine too. It's up to you, Miss Shelley just prefers herself to, leave, to move them. But you can leave them just like I did here on these next ones. And then I'm going around another moose. And then my owls. Okay, so you can do it either way. You can either 
remove them as you circle them so that you don't get any other marks or you can leave them in the circles like I have here as well. Either way, it's up to you, it doesn't matter. I'm going to remove these now because I don't want any of my black marker to get on them and ruin them. So now friends, let's count and make sure I have 10 marks representing my counting collection. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have 10 objects. I know I had two foxes here. I had four moose here and I had four owls here. So my counting collection today is fox, moose, and owls. I can't wait to see pictures of your counting collection. What will your counting collections be about, friends? Send us a picture. See you later.